Guys, welcome to Mr. Investor Real Estate Dojo, okay? Today what we're gonna talk about is what to do whenever you're on the phone with the seller. What should you ask? A lot of my mentor students ask me, hey, do you have a script? Uh, I don't know what to say when I'm on the phone with the seller. So I went and basically made a script through all the trial and errors that I've gone through and basically handed that to you guys. Now I passed the ball to you. Now it's time for you guys to go and make a touchdown, okay? So let's go ahead and just dive into it. All right, what the script is about. Now, I don't want to say it's a script. I just want to say it's a questionnaire form because, you know, um, I don't want the conversation to be question one, question two, question three, question four, okay? It's very crucial that it's not like that um, because there's no rapport building. And the whole goal here is for you to build rapport with the seller. And to do that, you need to really connect with them and, and position yourself as someone that does care. And you should really care, guys, um, because in this business, we're, we're solving people's problems. And you really have to care to solve a problem. I mean, a problem is not easy to solve, okay? A problem is a problem. That's why it's called a problem. And when I say problem, people think it's easy. No, it's not easy, guys. It's extremely hard. That's, that's why there's not that many problem solvers in life, okay? Sounds easy. All right, but it's extremely hard. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do it. You guys are gonna be able to do it, but don't go into it thinking it's easy. Okay, because it's not. But you can do it. You know, I have faith in you that you will do it. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna hold your hand, and we're gonna make it happen. Okay, so in my other videos, I explained to you guys how to build report, but I'm gonna quickly go through it. Okay, report building is about asking open-ended questions and what you're gonna do with those open-ended questions is that the seller's gonna give you responses like A, B, C, D, things. And then you're gonna take A out of that story and if you have something similar with, with the seller and then you're gonna reach out there and connect with the seller and say, hey, Mr. Seller, somehow I'm just like you, okay? So refer back to the uh, previous modules that are gonna be coming um, that's gonna explain how to build report, okay? So just know that for a nutshell, there's open-ended questions and there's closed-ended questions. And to build report, you need to op ask open-ended questions. And in my uh, seller form, I've included many open-ended questions where you're able to build report. For example, uh, Mr. Seller, tell me what do you really like about your property? Or Mr. Seller, uh, Tell me why do you want to sell your property? See, these are open-ended questions, okay? All right, <clears throat> so the whole goal of this um, questionnaire form is two things. One is to build report. And two, gather information to solve the seller problem. All right? This is your two goals in here. That's it. You're not gonna negotiate with the seller. You're not gonna talk to them um, and be negative about them. You're, you're not gonna tell them anything they don't wanna hear at this time. In reality, you're gonna tell them things that they, they do wanna hear, like, hey, I wanna buy your house. I am very, very confident that I'm, we're gonna be able to uh, create a win-win situation to buy your house, uh, things of that nature. So you don't want to be here arguing or being on the other side, per se, of the seller at any time in the negotiation or in, in the first introduction with the seller, okay? So now let's go ahead and talk about some of the questions that are in here. Now guys, it's very, 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 very important that you fill this questionnaire at 100%. Every question in here is there for a specific reason because it's gonna determine how we're gonna slice and dice the deal or structure the deal. Every single question, okay guys? If it wasn't important, I wouldn't put it on there, okay? So a lot of times I see some of the information is not filled and, and, and then I'm not gonna be able to analyze it or show you how to analyze it 100% because the information is missing. So it's kinda of like doing a jigsaw puzzle without having the actual box 
know what the image is, okay? So it's very, very important, guys, that you fill it out 100%, okay? Um, you know, there's a couple of questions in there that are not crucial, crucial, but all the other ones are 100% crucial. I would say all of it is crucial, okay? So fill it out. <clears throat> now, the first thing is when a seller calls, you wanna go ahead and put the date on there and you wanna definitely ask them how they heard about you, okay? Because advertisement is not free. It costs a tremendous amount of money to get the phone to ring, okay? Or if you're not putting money in right now, it's gonna cost sweat equity, all right? So you wanna know the date and how they heard about you. And a date is very important too because you know you, you, you wanna be able to benchmark and follow up with these people and see when they hatch. And if you put the date today and they hatch 12 months later, see, then you start realizing that follow up does work because look, Bob called you today and 12 months later, that's when he was totally motivated and he baked and, and, and you know, you were able to harvest, okay? You know, some of the basic questions that you need from, from the seller is, of course, their name, you know, their email address. When I say for their email address, I say, hey, Mr. Seller, what is a good email address so I can send you a written offer? Because I always like to give my offers in writing, and that way I'm able to have their email so I can give them the offer in writing, okay? I definitely want their cell phone number, okay? Uh, very important. Not really their home, you know, but mostly their cell phone number, okay? And I'll explain to you why we want their cell phone number. Uh, we could get a hold of them. We could send them text. Text is very, very important, guys. You know, um, people respond to text even faster than they do with phones. Excuse me. You definitely want the address, okay? But why do you need the address? Because you need to do a CMA. You need to know what the house is worth. Um, you, you also want to do that for your follow-ups when you when you start sending out to them letters, okay? Things of that nature. All right. Then the question number one, and, and this, this questionnaire form is basically, is the way I would ask the seller the information, okay? This, in the exact same order, okay? So I would ask, hey, Mr. Seller, what, you know, what is your name? I'm Mike with Mr. Investor, what is your name? He tells me his name. I'd say, hey, well, what is a good email address I can send you my cash offer to, okay? I already have a cell phone. I, I say, hey, is this your cell phone? I'll reconfirm it with them. You know, what is the address so I could run the cons while I'm talking to you? Boom, 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 okay? Then then I go and say, hey, Mr. Seller, tell me a little bit about your property, okay? Now he's gonna tell me, hey, it's a two bedroom, blah, blah, blah. Why he's telling me that stuff, it's 1,200 square foot. I'm writing that information down. If he doesn't tell me something that I need to know in that information, that's when I ask him after he finishes talking. I don't interrupt him, guys. This this whole aspect is, remember, report building. And majority of report building comes from listening, guys. Listening, not talking, listening, okay? Now, on the question number one, tell me a little bit about your property. It's very, very, very important that we know what year it was built. It's very, very important that we know what year they purchased it, okay? Because that's gonna let us know how much equity they have if we do rever reverse engineering with the math, okay? Uh, I can show you how to do that down the line. Uh, and it's very important for us to know if this house is vacant, or if the seller's living in there, or if it's being rented out, okay? So don't skip anything. All right, then the, the, the next thing you, you wanna do is very important that you, in the same question is, ask the seller, how much do you want for the property? We need to know this up front, okay? It doesn't matter what they want for it, but we need to get the, that number off their chest. So once they disclose that information out, you're gonna write that information in there. Majority of times you ask them the next question, 